YouTube has just changed its policies for gaming channels that are going to screw over a lot of gaming channels. A lot of gaming channels that especially do this as a profession or they do this as a side hustle are going to be feeling the effects of this new policy change that YouTube has implemented. And the best part about this policy change is they didn't really say that they were changing the policy. You had to go out there and find the information on your own or be in violation of the new policy, get hit, and then you think to yourself, well, why is this happening? Did something change? And then you go and find that information on your own. Imagine if you go to your boss and you're like, hey, Steve, I heard there's some new policy changes. Yeah, there sure is. Well, what are they? No, well, I can't really tell you. You got to find out that information on your own. So I'm laying in bed last night. It's one in the morning. I get a notification on my phone at 1.07 a.m. I look at it and it says that one of my videos has been age restricted. Now, this was a video that was from a while ago. I will zoom in here because I have nothing to hide from you people. Uh, hi, RGT85. We reviewed your content and determined that it might not be suitable for viewers under the age of 18 per our community guidelines. As a result, we've age restricted the following content. The most insane Nintendo Switch ports worth playing. We haven't applied a strike to your channel and your content is still live for some viewers on YouTube. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is an old video. This video is from September of 2022, several months ago. The video is still doing well. It's still getting views. It's an evergreen video. It's something that people don't have to watch on day one. They can watch it whenever they want because the information in the video isn't going to change. It's not going to be anything different. So I thought to myself, okay, well, this clearly is a mistake. You know, there's no rhyme or reason for this. I got the notification on my phone, like I said, around 107 a.m. I didn't notice it till about 118, 119. So I went into my YouTube uh, back studio thing and I applied for an appeal. At 122 a.m., roughly three minutes after I applied for the appeal, I ended up getting this email. We reviewed your appeal for the following. We reviewed your content carefully and confirmed that it violates our community guidelines. We know this is disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Now, what's funny about that is you didn't review the content because this was a 15 minute long video. I believe it's 1501. And in three minutes, you cannot review an entire video, especially if you're leading me to believe that this is a human that is checking this sort of thing, that it is a human that is watching this and determining whether or not my video is applicable for, you know, standard stuff, you know, 18 or older or not. 18 or older stuff is ridiculous because of the fact that most of the stuff that is 18 years or older, it shouldn't even be on YouTube in the first place because of the fact that you have to be 13 or older in order to have a YouTube account. So you're, 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 you're focusing in on a potential group of people with a four to five year span of age because you want to protect them. But I'm thinking to myself, there's no nudity. There's not excessive swearing in the video. It's simply showing video games. So I made a tweet about this. Before I got this email, I actually made a tweet to YouTube to sort of see what was going on with this. And I got the following. Hey, team YouTube, why did this video get hit with an age restriction months after it was up and the appeal was denied two minutes after I requested it? It was roughly two to three minutes. It's video games. So they say they're going to look into it and get back to me. And here's what they said. Our policy team confirmed the age restriction was correct. We suggest reading through this article for more information on the violent or graphic content policies that led to this decision. Appreciate your understanding of our need to make this tough call. Policy changes. What, what policy changes? You didn't send out an email to anyone. You didn't send out an email to anyone that makes content creation. You didn't put something on the front page of YouTube that says, hey, we're changing some policies of things going on in 2023. Here's the new information. Here's the new guidelines. And if a policy change was indeed happening and everyone knew about this, which spoiler alert, nobody knew about this. Why would it? include retroactive stuff why would it include stuff that was uploaded before the policy was instilled that makes absolutely no sense you want people to make content based on a policy that didn't exist at the time of their upload of the video so you want people to predict the future but then i come back full circle and i'm like wait a second this is video games. There's nothing controversial in here. I'm simply showing video games that are released at every major retailer in the world in the Switch ports video. So what are the content changes that are so drastic that now we're going to have to make content based around certain guidelines that nobody knew existed before this? Because the only reason I knew it existed was because of the fact that I got hit with a claim. Let's see. Tips for monetizing gaming videos. This content can earn ad revenue. Infrequent usage of profanity. Oh, okay. Like, um, how, what determines infrequent? What, what, 
what determines any of this words abbreviated censored are or acceptable for the network television hell and damn in the title thumbnail or video i mean network television has bitch and shit on it if you ever watched south park in it certain things here um this content may earn no because you put a one is sort of the thing profanity used in the first eight to 15 seconds of a video someone doing voiceover in a game where the f word is mentioned in the first four seconds of the game so okay adult content because you know all of this is, is is you know based on someone's interpretation of it uses of sexual jokes that's okay sensual dancing in a professional setting with limited clothing classical art display <laughs> like what are you doing here and then of course we have the normal sex stuff here but here's the violent stuff Graphic scenes such as a gory attack on a person outside of the first 15 seconds of a video is fine. Graphic violence in the thumbnail or in the first 15 se 8 to 15 seconds of a video. Graphic game violence includes brutal killings or severe injuries focusing on bodily fluids such as beheadings or dismemberments. No ad revenue here. Like, like here's the thing about all of this. It's all subject to interpretation here. But the crazy thing is, I could go on YouTube right now. Um yesterday i'm filming this on tuesday last night during monday night football a player for the buffalo bills um his name escapes me right now uh suffered a severe injury on the field there are millions of videos up about people um you know speculating on what happened to him this that or the other all those videos are fine that's real human stuff that's real people getting you know hurt and injured and potentially losing their life and you can find that sort of content all over YouTube. You can find gruesome injuries from the NBA, from uh, professional football, from, from all these different things, from wars and stuff like that. And that's all deemed okay because for some reason, that's all right. But when it comes to video games, no, that's a problem. A, a fictional thing, a thing that doesn't actually exist, a thing that is for you know people of a certain age to enjoy. If parents can't control their kids going on YouTube and watching videos that they don't want them to use, then the parent seems to have a problem with that. If YouTube is designed for people ages 13 and older because of the fact that you're supposed to be 13 or older in order to sign up for a YouTube account, why are you pigeonholing on this four year demographic from 13 to 17 as the people, oh, you can't, can't look at this under 18. No, you can't look at this video game. It's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. And, and here's the problem. Here's the problem because it's going to affect people who cover video games that are deemed violent. Okay, like a Mortal Kombat or a Doom. You know, are we going back to, to 1993 here where, where certain things are too taboo in the world of video games? What about Grand Theft Auto 5? What about Grand Theft Auto 6? What about Resident Evil 4 coming up? And you know, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the other thing is the companies behind these games, they need to be aware that you're going to lose a huge portion of your free marketing for these games on arguably the most popular platform in the world for video information and for individual content creation because people aren't going to want to cover your games in fear of the fact that the big YouTube baddie is going to come along and totally negate all the work you've done. If you do this just whenever you want to do it, I understand this policy probably doesn't mean all that much to you. But if you're someone who does this as a profession, it's very annoying. It's annoying to have to deal with policy changes when the policy changes aren't given to you on a silver platter because they should be. You, you should want to, you know, please your overlord so that you make some money, but you still you should still also want to have your individual content creation freedom. And I know people are going to say in the comments, well, go to Daily Motion, go to this website, go to that website and upload your video. There's no money in that stuff. There's no, and I mean, that's just, that's just the, the, the honest truth about it. And really, this policy change for me is it going to change much? I'm still going to cover the games I want to cover. I'm still going to talk about the things I want to talk about because I'm someone that makes daily content, at least for the most part. Sometimes you get two videos in a day. Sometimes I'll take a day or two off. But for the most part, I make daily content. So I'm always looking forward to the next video. If I make a video and it fails, doesn't do well, that's fine. I'm moving on to the next thing. If I make a video and for some reason, YouTube deems it too violent, it's too violent for everyone to watch whatever you know I'll, I'll move on to the next thing i'll move on to whatever i'm working on next but there's a lot of people that don't do that it's a lot of people that upload you know once a week you know once every two weeks or maybe a couple times a week or something like that and they don't have that luxury of going on to the next thing so a lot of these bigger channels that don't upload frequently you know they don't upload every single day now they're gonna have to second guess whether or not to cover this game because maybe they want to but if they're afraid that youtube and these you know totally 
uh, up to your interpretation of policies that have no rhyme or reason, there's no consistency to them, are going to impact what they're going to create, people are not going to create stuff based on those games. That's just what it boils down to. At the end of the day, so, yeah. I mean, to me, it, it, it's not a huge deal. It's just going forward in the future, you have to question what's going to happen with content creation. You have to question if they're going to go into your back catalog and totally nuke your channel because of stuff you did in the past that at the time was acceptable within the guidelines. But now that the guidelines have changed, you're retroactively hurting people. YouTube for the community for for the people. No, it's a community for freaking frauds, people who are scammers, people who, you know, people who, you know, <laughs> like it's crazy man it, it's crazy but i just wanted to bring this to your guys's attention so if you consume video game content on youtube which obviously you do if you make content on youtube which you might things have changed now so be aware and be prepared and as always guys thank you for checking out this video i'll catch you guys on the next one later